Hey, welcome back to the latest episode of uh, This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, it's October, getting ready for Halloween around the house. Um, enjoying some Oktoberfest beers this year, reviewing them on the channel. Uh, this here is number four that I've reviewed this year. Uh, I've done the Lining Kugels, Oktoberfest, the Sam Adams, and the Thirsty Dog. Uh, those videos should all be up and available. This here is uh, Blue Point Brewing Company. Uh, they're out of, uh, they're up in the uh, state of New York somewhere. I think they had a couple locations up there. Uh, this here is their uh, Oktoberfest, um, their version of the uh, Oktoberfest Marzen uh, Lager. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, crack this open here in a second after we get a good look at the bottle. Uh, Blue Point Brewing Company, their bottle cap. Uh, looks like it's a, a lighthouse um, on the bottle cap there. Looks like a lighthouse in their logo there. Again, I've never had anything um, by these guys, so I haven't read any reviews or seen anything um, on this uh, this here um, Oktoberfest beer, so I have no idea what anybody else is saying about it. Uh, if you've had it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Um, and uh, hopefully I like this one here. I'm not a huge fan of the Marzen uh, style lager, so um, hopefully here, uh, hopefully this is a good one here, or one that uh, is good to me. I says it was bottled on uh, July um, 17th of this year, so uh, looking at um, almost uh, three months old. And let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Typical Marzen lager smell. Uh, multi, caramel, um, not much, uh, I ain't picking up on something else. Let's, uh, get a pour on this thing and, uh, see what she tastes like. I started to get a bit aggressive there. Let's see if we can get it all in there. All right, so uh, light copper color, hardly any carbonation in this thing at all. Um, not a white, white head, but it's pretty damn white. Okay, typical Marzen um, aroma, um, multi caramel. There's some spice I'm picking up in here. I always pick up some type of a spice in these Mars and Lagers. Um, this here, it's like a sweet, sweet um, grat, almost a floral, sweet floral type of aroma coming off of this. So, um, not really sure what to expect uh, in the taste. Uh, still got nice head up on top of this thing. Let me set this here. Like a, definitely like an herbal, herbs, floral, sweet, maltiness, uh, caramel aroma coming off of it. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a shot. Okay, right off the bat. Got a bit of a sweet, toasty taste. That's a lot of flavor up front. Uh, crisp finish, medium to light body, lighter side of the lighter body fill. It's got a, a little bit of a lingering aftertaste, but definitely um, malty, wheat, wheat type of vibe I'm picking up on this thing. Anyhow, it's definitely worth drinking. Uh, if these guys are in your area, uh, Blue Point Brewing, Oktoberfest, uh, Mars and Lager, 
Go out, pick it up, see what you think. Uh, as always, hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm going to give this my scorecard here. Zero, I don't want to see this crap again. Uh, six, I'd push an old person down to get the last one. It is good. Um, and I'm not a fan of the Mars and Lager. I'm going to go with uh, a three point. A 3.8. 3.8 out of 6. Um, this is probably um, the best of the four that I've reviewed uh, so far this year. A little bit better than the Barktoberfest. Uh, that was still a pretty darn good one um, for a Marsden style lager. But I'm going to go 3.8 out of 6 on this. Check them out for yourself. See what you think. That's my thoughts.